Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the weekly or uh, rune reading for the elements for the week of October 20th through the 26th of 2024. Uh, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, you can check that out in the link down below. Um, there's also a link to a uh, natal interpretation chart, which is your birth chart. It gives you your circle with the 12 houses and all the planets and everything. And it also gives you a 10 to 20 page report um, explaining what all that means. Uh, I'm not really good with the Zodiac, but that was a really good way to learn about it. It's got a lot of really good information in it, including your elemental alignment. So um, <laughs> we'll hop into the general reading here for the week. We'll start with our fire family, if I can get it to open, and fire is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this one's starting off the week for you. Um, your first rune, fire, is the Iowaz rune, which is the yew tree, color of dark blue, tarot association is the hanged man and astrology is scorpio so you've got a little bit of water coming up with this uh, reading fire but it's kind of the more fire based water uh protection signifies a time of death and rebirth using foresight and perseverance what i'm hearing fire for this one is this is a really good time to do some inner work do some reevaluation of some things there's a shift that is occurring for you right now uh, and they're saying that this is going to be a shift for the better but to bring something new in you may have to let something else go so this is a time to kind of look what needs to de uh, have death occur basically pass out of your life so you can bring new things in and it's also saying follow your gut instincts on that and your intuition because it's not as simple as it may appear on the surface there's some deeper stuff going on there so your second rune is the tiawaz rune which is tear god of war color of bright red tarot association is justice and astrology is libra so we're getting a little air here air can fuel fire really well so this is a good sign signifies courage and energy the power to weave the pattern of your own life so when you bring these two together iowaz and tiawaz what it's saying is you've got a lot of potential this week you always have potential I'm not saying it's not but this week there's some enhanced stuff going on and what it's saying is there's time to release some things because there's something new coming in and what the new is in one sense is actually saying you have the right and then the authority to create your life this is going into this energy of personal accountability because it says the power to weave and the pattern of your own life that means that what happens in your life is up to you what do you want? Do you want to improve? Do you want to get better? Do you want to kind of stay where you're at for the moment because enough's enough type of movement? But what is it that you're trying to create? Because right now the energy's in your favor because it's time to like do a little bit of fall cleaning is what I'm hearing because there's the new that wants to come in needs some space to settle down, to settle in. So fire, you've got a good week coming up this week. It's definitely going to be some movement, some growth and some change. Um, but it's just a fact, a matter of what are you willing to kind of shift out of the way to make room for this new stuff that's coming in. <sighs> Not sure what my problem is today, but we'll <laughs> power through. Uh, Earth is our next family, and it's the Taurus Virgo Capricorn group. Your first rune is actually the Kano rune, which is uh, fire or a torch. Color is light red. Tarot Association is a chariot. Astrology is Venus. So you're working with fire, water, and movement. So Earth, you are involving all four elements this week. Uh, signifies creative fire, awakening, artistic impulses, passion, and sexual desires. Earth, basically everything is working out really well. There's going to be some um, illumination occurring, some paths being lit up for you. But I'm also hearing that as things go through this week, it's going to start to happen at a very rapid pace. It's not going to be um tiptoeing through the tulips we're not walking this week it's definitely there's some movement going on and that's good and bad because it could help you get things accomplished that you need to but it also says that you could miss the um 
scenery along the way, but the scenery, what I'm hearing, is probably not the best anyway, so just basically get ready because things are going to start moving. Your second rune is the Dagoz rune, which is the day. Color of light blue. Tarot association is the temperance. Astrology is the dark moon. Awakening and clarity, it indicates success, prosperity, and abundance in life. So what I'm hearing with this combination that we've got going on here for you with the Kano and Dagoz runes, because one is torch fire, one is daylight, things that you have not been fully clear on are going to be revealed this week. It's also going to kick off a period of rapid movement, whether that's promotions, whether that's physical movement traveling. Or however that manifests for you but it's also saying that this is because now that you can see the path ahead you can actually put your plans into motion you can actually step forward in those next things and as you're doing that understand that things are going to be moving pretty quickly the dark moon and temperance are saying don't get ahead of yourself go with what's available what you're intuitively guided to do what's comfortable i guess you could say growth is always a little uncomfortable but there's like this balance that i'm hearing coming forward for you but it's definitely a time for movement things are going to be moving faster than what you anticipated is the big part that i'm hearing so don't be intimidated by the movement because it's necessary you've been wanting this earth this is not something that you have been oh it surprised me this is things you've been planning on and working towards this week you're going to have some they're giving me the word revelations about it so that you can actually see where you're headed next and it's going to allow you to speed up the journey just a little bit so let's hop over to our air family air covers gemini libra and aquarius and your first rune i believe is radio or rado where am i at yep rado <laughs> it is a long journey on horseback Color is bright red. Tarot Association is the Hierophant. Um, definitely some masculine divine energy kicking in here. And Astrology is Sagittarius. So you're working with some fire here, Air. Um, indicates physical journeys, especially pleasant ones. Journeys that bring some positive development. Referring to spiritual journeys or self-discovery. Air, you've got a lot of potential in life. You always have this ability to see things from an intellectual perspective, weighing the pros and cons and always try, well, always, for the most part, picking the right decision every time because that's kind of what you do. You're, anal you're very analytical in things. And what this is saying is this week there is going to be some movement. This, this week is really about growth potential. Um, it's saying, are you willing to look into the inner world, see what needs to be adjusted, see what needs to be tweaked a little bit? Is there anything that's out of alignment? If there's not anything out of alignment, where's your next step? Where are you going next? If there's things that need to be adjusted, how are you going to adjust them moving forward? Because this is a week of expanse. Ex Let's try this again expansion for our air family it's not a point of air doesn't stand still well anyway but this week it's definitely getting into that nice strong breeze world part of its existence your second rune is the gibo rune which is blessings and generosity C color is deep blue tarot association with the lovers astrology is pisces so you're working with a lot of water in the second rune which is interesting because you had fire for your first um, it is a sign of gifts, generosity, giving people coming together, relationships becoming deeper. With these two in particular, if you are in a relationship, you can also check out your relationship reading, but if you're in a relationship with these two, and that's funny, it looks almost like a prescription, um, it is time to really go inside the relationship, spend some very intimate time with your partner, and that doesn't have to always mean uh, bedroom activities it can be going out to dinner just the two of you cooking dinner at home again just the two of you kids can go to grandma's house but take the time to really deepen that connection um, you can do through do that through things like massage uh, mutual massages it doesn't have to end anywhere it just means connecting with the other person the tantra the original kama sutra not whatever they've turned into today is a good way to do that because it's the deepening of a bond between two people it's a connection on a spiritual level and that's what i'm hearing for air this week is you've got all this kind of intense 
uh, energy with Sagittarius and Pisces, meaning you've got some pretty uh, passionate, you might call it, <laughs> um, er er yeah, Eros-based energy coming in. So it's definitely a time to enjoy your partnership. And if you're single, take the time to get to know yourself better. Do things like using like acupuncture on your or acupressure on your hands, reflexology type stuff. Work with journaling. Get to know yourself a little bit better uh, through physicality. What are your senses? Try different taste exercises, touch ex exercises. Um, I know some people can't stand certain textures, but what else do you like in those respects? Like what kind of clothing? What kind of velvet, silk, cotton, polyester? Like experiment with that type of ex uh, experience because it's saying this week is really about tapping into your physical body a little bit more, but it's also about that growth and expansion part, which is a learning experience, which is right up Air's alley. So uh, enjoy that this week. It sounds like it's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, let's hop over to our water family. Water covers Cancer, Sc Cancer Scorpio, and Pisces. So water, your first rune is Burkana, which is birth. Color is dark green. Tarot card is uh, the Empress, so we're tapping into a little bit of uh, feminine energy here. And astrology is Virgo, so we're bringing in some Earth. So this is going to be a grounding thing, kind of working with hearth and home as well. Uh, renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, and home. Water this week is really about you finding your anchor within your home. The outside world can literally be blowing up, and that's <laughs> probably not that uncommon right now with the way things are emotionally for the water signs. But this week, take the time to really ground and anchor yourself into your home life. Your home is your anchor point. Your home is the thing that brings you peace. And that is what where your focus really could turn to this week. I mean, obviously you have a day job and all that other jazz. But what, do you, what can you do to make your home more peaceful? What can you do to invite this calm atmosphere into it? Because what the other part of Burkana is this birthing process. There's something that you've been wanting to create, but it's not as easy to create out of chaos as it is to create from peace and quiet. And that's what I'm hearing from our water this first week, or the first rune for the week. Your second rune is the Perth rune, which is fate. Um, color is black, tarot association is the wheel of fortune, astrology is Saturn, so this could be the little strong aspect, a little stern aspect coming forward. Mystery, chance, unexpected material gain, surprises, hidden things coming to light. When you have Burkana coming in with Perth, this is definitely a time of, there's going to be something coming up this week that is new, something that is beneficial, that is good in your part of the world but it's not going to be something you expected. So if it's something that you've been planning on, well, this is where I'm going, they're saying that that is not exactly how this is going to work out. But that's where we need to tap into this energy of quieting the home, finding that um, center, that anchor point at home. That way, when the new stuff comes in, you're kind of ready for it, but you're not, like, you weren't planning for that specific thing, but you're ready for the new to come into existence. But it's not something that you have planned for. Fate is saying this is not, A, something you planned for, B, something that you knew about, and three, with that, or C, is this is not something you can change. It is going to happen one way or another, but it's happening in the best possible way for the water family. So it's not going to be something that, oh, this pops in and water's like, but I don't want it. It's going to pop in and be like, oh, I didn't know I needed that. It's, that's the type of energy I'm getting with this one. So overall, any other messages? This week is going to be an interesting week of growth and expansion for all water or all elements. The important part is is how it manifests in each of your lives. Like for example, air, it is going to be an intellectual growth. It's going to be partnership with another person that is going to expand and deepen uh, fire and earth. There's going to be growth in various ways, and they're saying this is going to be more business aspect. Water, this is going to be a, a little bit of a um, jump scare week, but it's going to be jump scares in the best possible way. This the, the concept for this week is really about 
being okay and being open with change. Change is inevitable. It's just what it is. But this week especially, you're going to be in inviting the positive aspects of change. You're going to be inviting the positive responses from yourself for change. Change comes when we have to let go of something that's no longer serving, that no longer fits into our life, which allows us to shift into this higher timeline. And this week, it's all about enjoying that journey. They are, my guides are really being um, open about this. Just because things have to change does not mean it has to be miserable. There are times change has to come with a lesson. This week is a reminder that sometimes change comes strictly from joy and enjoyment. And that's the message that they want to bring forward for you. So with that, I will wrap this up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video.